Hey guys, what's going on? Space Cowboy here. Welcome back once again to another video. And before we get straight into it, if you guys could, make sure to smash the like button if you guys haven't done so already. It helps the channel out so much. Along with subscribing to the channel if you are new and hitting the notification bell while you do that. So you don't miss it on new content when it drops. So, the odds makers, according to a couple of these, I'm more so citing the one from betonline.ag. On Twitter, they, it's been circulating. Mike McCarthy has been favored by the odds makers to be the first head coach to be fired in the 2021 season, which is interesting. And I'm pretty sure, knowing all of us and we know how the Cowboys operate, that's not going to happen. I, I'm kind of shocked, honestly, because there are a couple other candidates that I think would be fired before Mike McCarthy, to be completely honest with you. But with that being said, this does pose a question of what would it take for Mike McCarthy to be put on the hot seat? And is he on the hot seat going into the season? So to give you my take. First question, is Mike McCarthy on the hot seat? To be completely honest with you, no. Knowing how the Cowboys operate, he's not being looked at under a microscope. He still has four more years left on his deal. Now, I understand that doesn't mean anything, but the point I'm trying to get at is that the Dallas Cowboys are more likely to have him go through the next five, four years of his contract and let him walk than to fire him. Then again, I don't know how they feel about him. But I, I feel like he's not on the hot seat given the circumstances for what happened last year. I think that if this year everyone's fully healthy, the team underperforms, him going in the next year is a, it. Listen, it's the third year. You haven't done anything yet. What's going on? That's a completely different circumstance, right? But you can't really fully say like hey this guy is either going to get fired like this this is his year he has the i'm not saying this as an excuse for mike mccarthy i want to be emphatically clear there however that doesn't mean that he has a high expectation this year what is that expectation as i mentioned in the video from yesterday i talked about how the cowboys have or like they're a playoff team right they have to make the playoffs this year that is the goal if they miss the playoffs depending on how they got there will determine my answer on how i feel about what the coaching staff's doing where we are at as a team where the roster's at you know it's it's a completely subjective situation like last year right if you had told me from the start of the year that the cowboys went six and ten right I would have probably said a lot of people got hurt or something of that caliber. If you told me going into this year, the Cowboys won 9, 10 games, let's just say 8 to 9 for the sake of argument. Now it's more of a something didn't go right type of thing. And we can't sit here and say like if he doesn't, you know, we can't sit here and sit like, okay, what happens if this th we got to see it happen right before i can make a full-on judgment but for mike mccarthy to be the odds favorite to be the first head coach fired for the 2021 season is a bit preposterous like i mentioned dallas is not going to can him it's more likely that he rides out the deal but either way i think it's a weird question to pose and i wanted to do a quick little short video on it if you guys could down in the comment section below tell me is mike mccarthy on the hot seat this season but more importantly what is he to be expected to do this season to kind of curb that you know putting him on the hot seat type situation so I don't want to go on forever on something as basic as this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Shout out to all my members. And if you want to join the membership club, you can hit the join button. 
and you can join in for as cheap as $1.99 a month and continue to support the channel even further. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.